because it was filled with moments that I'll never get back. I don't need to live through them twice, because once was enough. Trust me. High school was a journey of self-discovery. Out of all the lessons I learned, the biggest lesson that high school taught me is that I know nothing. I've lived in the same house my, my entire life. I've had classes with the same kids I knew since kindergarten and elementary school. I've played for all the new soccer since the day I could walk. I haven't seen much when it comes to this vast world that we call Earth. You see, I truly believe that experience is the greatest teacher. And until we go through the experiences that push us to our limits, we remain stagnant and we don't make any progress. High school pushed us to our limits. It forced us to change. So as we gather here today, completely different individuals from the kids we once were four years ago. I ask you, where do our limits lie now? I say we have none. We're the class of 2018. To be a part of the class of 2018, you actually have to be born into a new century. That doesn't happen any given day with the sun rising or brushing your teeth. It literally happens every hundred years. I Googled it. <laughs> we were not born at the start of a new chapter in history by coincidence. We were not born to be complacent, to live our lives on someone else's accord. You guys are probably going to think I'm corny for saying this, but it's almost as if you could say the class of 2018 was born to be great. <laughs> so I ask each and every one of my classmates right now to look to your right and left and thank the person sitting next to you. Thank them now for being a part of your graduating high school class. Because after today, we're all going to part ways. Some of us to the military, some of us to college, and some of us elsewhere. But the fact of the matter is, we'll never go to high school again. These people sitting next to you will forever share common ground with you. Because we all share that same memory. It doesn't matter where I go or what I do. Whenever I think about pep rally, I'm going to be thinking about the same pep rally you guys are thinking about right now. Helen Keller once said that life is a daring adventure, or nothing. If you have ever done anything daring, you know the feeling of fear, that pit in your stomach that stops you from doing what your heart desires most. We learn the most when we're scared. We're forced to think on our feet when we're scared. And when we finally get over that fear, the feet that we were so scared of doesn't seem daunting at all. As a matter of fact, it almost seems ridiculous to think that we were ever so scared of something so simple in the first place. The real world is nothing like high school. To us new high school graduates, the real world is the unknown. We're usually scared of things we don't know. Sometimes even people we don't know. Don't be scared of failing. If anything, be eager to fail, because it means that you tried something. There's no way that you can learn without stepping into the unknown. There's no shame in trying to change the way you live, the way you think, or the way you act. You can start fresh on any given day. For as long as we live, we will be alumni of Martin High School. We carry that with pride, because our class is so filled to the brim with talented and bright and determined individuals that it's almost impossible to think that within the next 10, 20 years, we will not have changed the world. I find it so fitting that our prom was called the City of Stars, because that's literally what we are. Literally a city of stars. The class of 2018 has left a very profound mark on Martin High. The achievements that we accomplished in these past four years, whether it be individual accolades or team awards, are not what leaves an everlasting mark on those hallways. That everlasting mark consists of the bonds we created with teachers, the laughs we shared with classmates who were once strangers, and the tears we shed when the final whistle was blown. The point is, whether high school was the best time of your life or the worst time of your life, it's over, and all of us are about to start a new chapter. So in closing, I'd like to share one last quote with you from the original screenplay of The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, written by Eric Roth. What it's worth, it's never too late, or in my case, too early to be whoever you want to be. There's no time limit. Stop whenever you want. You can change or stay the same. There are no rules to this thing. We can make the best or the worst of it. I hope you make the best of it. And I hope you see things that startle you. I hope you feel things you've never felt before. I hope you meet people with a different point of view. I hope you live a life you're proud of. If you 
finally or not, I hope you have the courage to start all over again. I cannot be prouder of being able to say that I'm part of such a phenomenal class. I thank each and every one of you so much and everyone for giving me the time. I love you all. See you around. Hi, guys. Hello. Yes. Hi, Cindy. <laughs> Good afternoon, Principal Masterangelo, Superintendent Altieri, Mayor Kirstensen, faculty and staff, distinguished guests, and my beloved classmates of 2018. Woo! Woo! Yeah! Four years later, and we're finally here. I am honored and humbled to be speaking on behalf of your class order. When we were all freshmen, the transition from middle school was another step into exposing our innocent selves to the real world. Some of us were on the path in discovering our passions through all this diverse range of academics and extracurriculars, while others were still trying to find themselves who they were and what they related with. During our time at Mountain High, we witnessed a tremendous amount of change in society where we often grieved celebrated, or were frustrated by them. At the end of our freshman year, the Supreme Court legalized same-sex marriage in all 50 states, teaching us that love does win all. In the following year, the country inaugurated a new president, in which many of us had to make further adjustments to our lives, whether they were positive or negative. On a better note, we had the opportunity to support my more diversity U.S. Olympics team, hoping we could be like them someday. As much as we want it to be, life is an awful game, and we cannot dismiss friends that happen to students like us, which oftentimes made us feel unsafe, even in our own classrooms. The world around us had the highs and lows, similar to how many of us had with our own high school careers. We should commemorate all the accomplishments we achieved in that obstacles we overcame. Whether it was that unbearable tug of war with the seniors at our first pep rally, or reading that initial congratulations from our dream colleges. Be proud of the A you earned in class you thought you would have failed in. Be proud of that moment when you peed hard in the meat after all those long practices. Be proud of the solo you performed in the concert you struggled to perform when you struggle to perfect that certain rhythm. Be proud, because you just did that. Maya Angelou once said, I've learned that people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did. But people will never forget how you made them feel. Although this quote is overused in almost every speech, these words have resonated with me since freshman year. And it still holds true today. We spend the beginnings of our high school trying to befriend every student and join every club there is. Years from now, you'll forget the lessons you learned from your teachers, you'll forget the lectures from your coaches, and you'll probably even forget what you said during your speech. No matter what you did during your time here, others will remember the differences you made in your lives. Titles, ranks, awards may come as a result of your impact, but it surely does not find who you are. You might think that this quote would have been helpful at the start of high school, but it's never too late for anything. Some of you might even be questioning, did I do enough, or should I have done this? From this position, time, and place, don't ponder on the hypotheticals. Transform those hypotheticals into realities. Whatever you decide to do, it will affect your perspective of the world and how you react in return. <coughs> so to my fellow graduates, you have all progressed as individuals one way or another. Whether you were pushed out of your comfort zones to run for new positions, or were challenged to enroll in unexpected courses. Remember the impact people create in your life, and think about how you can replicate that for others. Remember the teachers, mentors, and friends that help you escalate to this point. Remember who you are today compared to four years ago. Sitting here in front of me, I see future politicians, artists, Olympians, doctors, institutions. 
I have no doubt in mind that every one of you can obtain your definitions of success. I wish you luck for whatever you aspire to do and hope you only go up from here. So, congratulations, class of 2018. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, first, I would like to extend my gratitude to Mayor Christensen, Superintendent Bill Terry, Principal Matthew Angelo, State Representative Alcino, and the school committee for being here today. I would also like to say a heartfelt thank you to everyone in the audience for making time to attend this graduation ceremony today. And also, thank you, my peers in the class of 2018, for having to deal with me doing this speech. Um, first, I would like to say congratulations to my classmates. Uh, for graduating. Four years is a long time, more than 1,000 uh, days of countless nights of lofty drama and stress. Whether or not you will look back on high school family or not so family, after today, we get to move on from this part of our lives and begin anew. And that is definitely something to be excited about. You are here right now because you accomplished something momentous. High school is not easy. Be academically, physically, or socially. Where you really wanted to yell at that one teacher who cramped 8 million homework assignments in one night, thinking that you have no life, but when you actually do. There may have those days when you got no sleep. There may have also been those days where you, you're trying to get to class, but everybody's blocking the hallways because it's apparently too difficult to move three inches to the right to let you go by. <laughs> However, despite all the obstacles, each and every one of you should be proud to have finished high school. No matter your plans after today, I wish you the best of luck. However, I know that... Okay, I'm going to let the train go by. However, I know that all of you don't need something as intangible and unreliable as luck because you all have the talent and ambitious ferocity that will take you far. When I look into the crowd, I see the future leaders and citizens of this country making ways and motivating others to do the same. Your actions and words will inspire others to change and make change their own surroundings. I don't think it needs to be said, but I do need to say it, but it, and it is the fact that we live in an imperfect world. There are still rampage issues like hunger, gun violence, and racism. That is why I think we are needed in this world. Right here now, I believe I am standing in front of a crowd of young men and women who will go out and make the change they want to see in the world. It's easy to think that someone else is going to do it, no matter what the world changes it in its own dreams. Why can't that someone be you? There's no point in waiting for someone to do what you want for you. If you want to get something done, then I believe that all of you are more than capable of fulfilling that dream yourself. In the future, do not be crushed by failure, because failure is our best friend. In fact, I believe that success feels that much more triumphant because there is failure. Everyone has most likely felt this in their life, considering that high school is written with places to failure. I hope in the future that you will continue to succeed, you also continue to fail, because that gives you assurance that you are an imperfect being capable of making mistakes. Failure will teach you that you should, not, you should always be humble and never be too arrogant. It teaches us to be better. And in conclusion, before I give out my shout outs, um, no matter where you go in the future, know that this is where you came from and that Long High School will always hold a special place in your heart. Always remember that you are a human being and that you are, cap you are allowed to make mistakes and be selfish. Beyond anything, do not forget your roots and your time here because in the future, when life seems rough, those memories may be the one thing that fuels your ambition. And before I conclude, I want to give a shout out to some of my best friends for being with me all these four years. Um, I, call, I call them my mall squad because we go to the mall together all the time. Naomi Brill, Sydney Adoricio, Christina Abenagi, Amy um, Angus Bilko, um, and Vanessa Vu. Once again, congratulations um, on your graduation class of 2018. Thank you. Here we go, guys. Welcome, Mayor Christensen, Superintendent O'Terry, State Representative Altrino, distinguished guests, faculty, family, friends, and above all, my fellow colleagues of the graduating class of 2018. 
My name is Matthew Jim, and it is an incredible honor to be given an opportunity to share a few farewell remarks with such an extraordinary class. When I was first informed of my privilege of giving a valedictorian speech, I was frankly overwhelmed. First of all, the draft of the speech was due in 36 hours after I found out I was writing one, so thank you, Principal Mistrangel, for ruthlessly sucker punching a senior struggling through senioritis. <laughs> But more importantly, I had no idea what I was going to say or how I was going to leave my mark here today. I thought, how about speaking on the ideas of following your dreams because you can be whatever you want to be. After all, in a world where the Catch Me Outside girl can become a famous rapper and type on so fast as delicacy, anything really is possible. How about that? <laughs> but no, it's too cliche. Perhaps I had to phone a friend on this one. You probably know him. At 2 a.m. in the morning, I opened up my Spotify app and hit up my boy Kendrick Lamar on search. I thought, yo Kendrick, I just really need help on my valedictory speech. You should be my hero, man. Believe it or not, on his song Pray For Me, he responded in, I quote, You need a hero? Look at the mirror. There go your hero. Kendrick is right. Each one of us is sitting here today because we chose to be our own heroes in our heads. For everybody here who went to tutoring after school to pass that math test, for every student who has to balance sleep with stress and work, or for every athlete who was pushed by their co coach to go that extra mile, then you can proudly say that you have persevered through tremendous adversity to get to where you are now today. Yeah. Class of 2018, if there is anything you get from me today, outside of a good laugh and my handsome self, that is, <laughs> is this. Remember to smile. Your attitudes dictate your reality. Four years, we were the oblivious, four years ago, we were the oblivious youngsters in the grand scheme of modern time. We were the ones wondering what honors or AP class was, where the first, second, and third floors of the Brunelli House were, and I was the one running two hands behind my back in Naruto style, trying to get a mind for the Malton High School nachos. <laughs> we not only survived, but prospered in our transition from underclassmen to senior studs, because we remained optimistic through those tough times. While each of us met failure in our own ways, we believed in ourselves and found silver linings as we faced the challenges of high school. As many of you leave Malden in pursuit of your dreams, carry that firm, unshakable belief in yourself that religious figures call faith, sports psychologists call confidence, and entrepreneurs call determination. To quote another Kendrick Lamar song, DNA. I got hustle, low and vision, flow inside my DNA. I was born like this since born like this. And that definitely shows because as a class, we have state qualifiers in, and winning records in Soccer, cross country, swimming, indoor track, outdoor track, gymnastics, wrestling, hockey, volleyball, tennis, cheerleading, and basketball. Hey! We had all state qualifiers throwing and hurling just yesterday. We both gave a rival in Medford in 2017 to back to Thanksgiving, and I'll just stop here so we can probably tear it up for all the student athletes out there. <laughs> we had members in play production moving to finals at METG Drama Festival, band and chorus members receiving bronze at MICA. Multiple students graduating with weighted GPAs above 4.5, that means the average A's all through their high school. An incredible yearbook staff. An incredible yearbook and newspaper staff. But most importantly, and I think we can all agree on this, the class of 2018 has come home with literally hundreds, and I want to emphasize hundreds, a Fortnite Victory Royale. But even with all of our accomplishments, none of this would be possible without the support of the selfless individuals in our lives. 
To the teachers who managed to put smiles on our faces, coaches that pushed us to our limits, and parents and guardians who provided unconditional love, thank you. Shout out to Berryman for handing out extra credit points like charity. Shout out to Marquez for the argument skills needed to prove it's both Yanny and Laurel. Shout out to Joyce for protecting my speech today. And shout out to Coach P for allowing me to spit the most vile profanities after a bad track race. I also want to sincerely thank my family and the audience today, and hope at some point today you will too. Thank you, Mom, Dad, Grandma, for always supporting me at my lowest lows and congratulating, congratulating me at my highest highs. Thank you for endless love and unparalleled guidance for my journey at PB School, Smallton High, and soon to be Yale University. <laughs> Last but certainly not least, I want to give a tremendous thank you to all my friends. Imagine if I never met the Broskis. You all know who you are and I honestly would not be here without you. Thank you for grounding me in unbreakable friendships and giving me an outlet to share my optimism with. Graduating seniors, it is time for me to end my speech and for us to finally graduate. We'll soon be saying goodbyes and yes, there will be hugs and tears. Keep in touch with each other, the people of Malden, and remember the den both as a challenge and as a home. Last year, my carbon copy valedictorian Clef Kong quoted Kanye to explain how every genius deviates from normalcy. We are those creative geniuses who have defied the odds to make it here today. Class of 2018, we hope we scooped our way through four years of high school. Scoopy whoop whooped her way through our senior year, and whoopy scoopy pooped on all the haters who said that we weren't ever gonna make it. So here's the graduation, and seniors, guess what? We made it. Yeah.